I want to give a disclaimer for this lesson. First off, when we talk about comparing and describing functions, we're going to be talking about linear functions 95% of the time. Um, if you know about linear equations, that means you know that each line has a slope. And when we're talking about linear equations, a lot of times they're not going to use the term slope. In fact, they'll just talk about the rate or the rate of change. So if you see the word rate of change in a story problem, that basically is um, its way of telling you go find the slope for a comparison. Or um, if they're talking about how fast or how slow something's happening, then if you can actually find the slope of that linear function, you'd actually be able to see which one's happening faster. So let's go down and take a look at example one. Jay and Nathan want to know who can run faster. Jay gave Nathan a four meter head start, and the graph below shows the distance per second that Jay ran during the race. The data set also shows the distance per second during the race. So basically, we've got two different formats that are going to be used to show this. Here's Jay, okay, and here's that graph that we're talking about, and this is his information of meters per second, okay? Over here is Nathan, and this is the data set. Or basically a table. So we've got two different functions shown here, but they're not shown in the same way. And all that we want to know is the following. Who ran at a faster rate? Now I'm not talking about who got done faster. We want to know who's running at a faster meters per second. Who covers more meters in one second? And that basically comes down to comparing the rate of change or the slope of each of these. Um, all we need is two different points that we can take from a graph, and then that would let us be able to um, find the slope. So here's a point that's 0, 0. So let's go ahead and write that down right here, 0, 0. And another point is 1, 6. So in, in one second, went 6 meters. And this would be enough information for us to get a slope. Now, one thing I do want to mention, though, is that a lot of times the graphs will not have these exact points sitting on here. Instead, it'll just be a straight line, and it's up to you to find these nice points where the graphs intersect, the X and Y grids intersect. So let's take a look at what that would look like. There we go. And, and so it's going to be up to you to track down these nice points, and, and sometimes it's easier than others. Like right here, if we went to one and we went straight up, it hits the line here, and then it comes over to the right, and we know, okay, that would be the six meters. So uh, finding the slope six minus zero is six, and one minus zero is one. That tells me that basically he's going six meters per second. That's the slope, and that's what we're using it for, the rate of change. Over here, um, Nathan's race, we're going to assume it's a linear relationship. 9 minus 4 is 5, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So Nathan is only able to go 5 meters per second. And that's the reason that Jay gave him a head start. But if we're just wanting to know who's running at a faster rate, well, Nathan is only going 5 meters a second, and Jay's running 6 meters a second. So it's definitely Jay. Here's a different example, um, and I just want to point out the fact that it's using the word rate right here. So it's talking about how fast something's happening, and which vehicle stops, um, excuse me, typo right there, which vehicle stops at a faster rate. And there's the word faster right there, and the word rate. So whenever it's talking about faster, slower, rate, that's usually an indication that you'd be able to use the slope or the rate of change from these functions um, to be able to determine what's happening there. So let's read this. Bobby tested his dad's truck's brakes. The truck will stop at a rate represented by the function y equals negative 8x plus 40. And that seems like an odd equation. So then the problem goes on and it talks a little bit more. The y is the speed of miles per hour. So this is how fast that truck would be going. And the x is the time in seconds that he steps on the brakes. So if if he does not step on the brakes, that would be zero seconds of stepping on the brakes. So zero times negative eight is zero, and zero plus 40 is 40. So he'd be going 40 miles per hour. That's what this um, equation is showing us. Now, 
the second thing that he's doing is he's also tested his brother's Mustang, you know, testing the brakes to see how fast it'll stop. And the data is shown below in a table. And it refers to the same thing as this equation. If we're referring to, to do two different functions, they really need to be representing the same type of data. So the seconds would be how many seconds he stepped on the brakes of the Mustang. And this is the actual speed that the Mustang's doing. So after two seconds of stepping on the brakes, that Mustang's doing 55 miles per hour. And after five seconds, it's down to about 19 miles per hour. So which vehicle stops at a faster rate? That's all that we want to know. Which vehicle stops at a faster rate? Well, let's come down here and let's organize our, our data. I'm going to put a truck side right here. And I'm going to write the Mustang over here. So that way we can just compare them side to side. Now the equation for the truck was y equals negative 8x plus 40. Negative 8x plus 40. When we look at the Mustang, I don't have an equation. I've just got this table data here. But I could actually get the slope. And so I'm going to show you how we get that. Um, it's The slope is y minus y over x minus x. So 55 minus 19 would be my y's. And 2 minus 5 would be my x's. So 55 minus 19 is 36, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. That means that my slope is negative 12, or we could also call it our rate of change. So the, the Mustang's got a rate of change of about negative 12 meters per second is what we're dealing with here. Or excuse me, miles per hour, or miles per second. So basically the speed's going to be dropping by 9 miles per hour every second that you step on the brakes. Now over here, my slope is just the number sitting in front of this x because this is slope-intercept form. So my slope, or my rate of change, is negative 8. And that means that the miles per hour will drop uh, for every one second that you step on the brakes. Which vehicle stops faster? Well, if the Mustang's slowing down 12 miles per hour per second, it's stopping a lot faster than this truck. So that's a pretty easy question. The Mustang's stopping at a faster rate.